All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on to episode number nine for today, and in the last episode, we got our 3v3 rank. We're finally seeing that we're in Platinum 2 Division 2, which was a surprise because in the last game, we had gold players. So we actually jumped quite high up on the last game, but we're still at Division 2 of Diamond 3 for 2v2. The ranks are actually pretty close together, so we should have a good comparison of games between the two uh, game modes. But of course, before we get into the video, we got to the meme of the day, and we have Basil with Squishy Puffins. This one is going to be very cursed. All right, I found a really nice photo of a pufferfish. It's perfectly fresh. I think it'll be a nice little square box around it. So let's grab this and put it in Photoshop. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Good framing. I think it's perfect right here. He's so happy. What do I want to do here? Let's, okay, we have to do the usual thing too. Let's, let's do a new layer and let's just select everything and let's do uh, AI generative fill puffer fish. We got to do the, uh, the classic. Let's see what it comes up with. Oh, 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 <laughs> why, is, why is his head a triangle? He's like an isosceles head. Now, one more try. Squishy puffins. I just spilled water all over myself. I'm soaked. I peed myself. Man, I took a leak on my chair. Can we talk about the penguins on my screen though? <laughs> is... Oh, my my chair is soaked, bro. Okay, back to the pufferfish. Okay, we've got Squishy here as well. So let's grab uh, a little snippet of his head. Perfect. And then I don't think I need his hair. Only problem is his, his hair kind of covers a lot of his eyes too. Let's just like clean up, clean up all the features here. I think what I want to do, okay. I think what I want to do is liquefy. I, I I don't know where to go with this thing. I I don't know what I'm doing. No, like his eyes are right there, right? So like I kind of need this to be like like that maybe. This doesn't even look like squishy muffins anymore. What have I done? And I need to get rid of all this purple. Actually, I can probably just camera raw this. Let's see, filter camera raw. Let's go in the magentas and we go. Yeah, that's a little better. Do I bring the nose color back? No, I think we definitely run it. <laughs> we definitely run it like that. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm happy with this. This might be the most cursed one yet. I don't even think you can tell that that's squishy, but glub glub, I guess. All right, we have gate number one. We got two v two with right bench and Kiabe, maybe Kiabe. I don't know. Kiabe, Kiabe, <laughs> and uh, B. All right, so I'm gonna sit in mid here. This one guy's not moving, so I don't know if he's like gonna come back. I could have definitely beat that guy, but he's not back yet. And he's saying okay because I didn't beat him. But it's like, I could have definitely beat him. I just wanted to wait for the guy to get back. I'll turn on this really quickly. The guy's going back. I'm going to beat him off the backboard and see if this guy makes it clear. He doesn't make a good clear. My teammate's going to have to catch this. Decent catch to the back. A little scary. Didn't make the best touch, and I had to, like, recover for him. But this shouldn't be that dangerous. And now I have space in this ball. So I'm going to try and sit behind here and make sure that the, this guy might cut like this. There we go. Just always trying to play patient. Try to stay close to it. Take the corner now. My teammate should be able to rush in here. Close. Let's see what he does here. He's 50. I'm trying to leave that mid in case he wants to turn, but he ends up just staying on, on pressure on the ball here. Okay, let's pop off the backboard and then wait for them to make a touch. I see that he has, doesn't have good control, and players can beat you there if they go for the quick touch. My teammate should be there. This is the kind of ball I was talking about early on that really you shouldn't be going for. You can see it doesn't really produce much. It looks like he likes to be very aggressive. So with that in mind, I like to conserve a lot of boost in mid. You can see I'm just waiting here. He's just making very aggressive touches. They're trying to aggressively touch the ball as well. Everybody's flopping at the ball and making bad touches. He might pop this middle and you can see I'm already trying to get ready for that. Oh, it's off target. There we go. And he's not backing off. Like he should have definitely backed off. The 420 guy should have noticed that he was in an uncomfortable position off of that play uh, because right bench made a pop off the backboard. And that's also something I talked about a lot in the other episodes about how popping at the backboard really close like that is usually going to result in a play down the field instead of something that's actually advantageous for your teammate because it instantly puts your teammates in a, in a 1v2. Now that's an interesting kickoff. Now, if he hits this like towards the mid, I would have preferred that. My teammate just barreled in there, but maybe he can make a play here. Might be open. Good shot. So far from this game, I can tell the opponents are very, very panicky. My teammate is very, very aggressive. So with that in mind, like I don't mind just like watching him try to barrel into the opponents and make them panic and then, and then clean up be basically be clean up clean up clear uh, clean up crew for my uh for my teammate lots of space to the left side so i know i can get this boost if there wasn't if there was a player going for the other corner i probably wouldn't have chased into the corner like that now my teammate did recover pretty slow so once again i'm just trying to stall for him here and right here i can just get behind it and go for this pop that's not the best clear but if, if you're uncomfortable making better clears into the corner or control into the corner that's not a bad option and i've always talked about how it oh my teammate went so i'm just gonna take this back um, I, I always talk about how, like, in those positions, like, 
as you get mechanically better, your your approach is going to be different. This is off the backboard. I don't see them going for this. He's trying to go now. So I'm just going to wait for it. Sounds, sounds like the other opponent's right behind me too. So he pops this off backboard. It might be a good chance. Looks like he wants to go for it again. Good try. And I have a free ball. So uh, I'll say great pass. I, I feel like I'm reluctant to say great pass to this guy because he was very, very early on to judge my gameplay uh, by saying okay. I think he said okay because I didn't shoot it or pass or something. Seems like he wants me to be exactly where he wants at all times. Let's go for a, a 50 here. This could be a shot. It's off target, so I can just control it and catch it. Now I'm going to stay behind the ball and see what they do. Make him come to me. You see, it like, makes him very uncomfortable. And then I can make both players commit off of one play, and I'm also still behind the ball. Um, hopefully my teammate doesn't try to touch this. He does touch it. He actually makes a decent control touch. If right bench was a better player, he probably would have pushed up on that and, and pressured because in that position, it's very, very awkward. But right here, I have lots of space. Look how much space I have. I'm going to try to like, actually pass this to the right, but my teammate's like right behind me. Good try. I'm going to that boost for him. Lots of time on the ball. Never mind. Okay, so I'm going to have to play behind here. It's a little bit dangerous because this guy's like rushing for this. Once again, just like touches we don't need to be making. Let them panic on this, see what they do. It's up the wall. This guy might clear it, so once again, I'm just going to back off. Don't need to pressure that. I'm just going to give it right back to us. It's all about patience, man. Patience is a virtue. That's a good touch. I'm going to let him panic. Let him panic. All right. Look how we don't have to do much. They're still like just panicking. I, th I don't think I can score this, though. Just let them panic. Just let them make bad touches. This guy's trying to go for a play, but nobody's in net, so or nobody's in mid, so I know there's no pass that's like threatening. Even if the guy does make a pass, like he's probably nice close. Um, even if he does make a pass, there's gonna be nobody there, and it's gonna be a free ball in mid for someone, someone on my team to collect. If he wants to cut for me, make a soft touch to the corner. Keeping those touches like way soft into the back ramp is the best way to. Uh, Keep the ball in a safe spot. Stall for your teammate. Risky uh, 50 for me to go for, and they might have a chance to shoot here. Let's see if they can score it. It's a good pass in middle. Not the greatest to touch my teammate, but then they both panicked. And we should have a free goal. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty weird game just because players were always on top of each other. Um, you can see there's some good opportunities they had, but both of them just kind of committed in bad spots, and it ended up just leading us into open nets. Not a bad first game. We do division up into division three. So far, Diamond 3, or Diamond in general this season, has felt very inconsistent. I've seen comments of you guys saying, like, what's going on with the rank? I don't understand what's happening. Every game feels odd. And I do think that because I'm positioning a lot, a lot, like, wider than most players at this rank, that it's throwing off everybody in the lobby, maybe. Um, that's why the inconsistency may inconsistency might be there, but I'm not really sure. All right, so this is our first 3v3 game as a ranked player on the account. We got, uh, I think it was plat two. So we should be seeing some probably mainstay plat players in this 3v3 game. Let's see what happens. So already I can tell it's a little better. I'm gonna stay in front of this. I'm gonna wait in mid here. Good pop on the backboard. Looks like the guy's panicking, so I probably can go for this. At least get a 50, not, not a shot on target. Nice. Wait behind here. Looks like I have space in the ball. Pop it around him. Maybe try to get a pass in the middle. Both players miss. Let's see what happens. He might try to catch this. Oh, okay. So once I see this, I'm just going to try and pop this out like this. And try to watch for my teammates. It, it went to space where my teammates couldn't really follow it up. So I'm just going to loop behind them. So we do have people wall clearing. I was not sure if that was what we were going to be seeing at this rank. See if they want to go. I can definitely beat this guy. See if my teammate can go for this. Now the, the way this ball pops up, I immediately know I can't really follow it up that well. So I'm just going to back off and let my other teammate rotate in instead. Two players go for it. Might be open. Can he do it? Nice finish. Lots of lots of panics and lots of whiffs so far. And I also see a lot of players going for things they probably shouldn't be going for just because of the spacing. But yeah, so far it's been really panicky. Um, really all over the place. I got space on this ball. I can just wait for one of the opponents to challenge me or something. I'll try to pop it around him and then just immediately back out. Let's see if Mark makes a touch. He does make a touch to the side. Whoa. Okay, that's fine. I'll take the back corner. Looks like my team wants to take over, which is totally fine. Looks like he has a good position on the ball. Can he do it? Can any of them do it? Oh, there we go. Nice. 
I'm not gonna go for the ball right away. I'm gonna make this guy panic, and then I'm gonna try and pop this ball middle. See if he can make a shot. Nice. So I'm using the fact that they know that there's possibly a shot coming that I'm just going to like not shoot. <laughs> I'm gonna sit next to the ball here. See what Colesby does. See how I'm positioning pretty wide and look how look how that lets me like basically get a touch for free because they're hitting it right to me. Both my teammates go and we get another goal. Honestly, I'm not doing too much. Like I'm kind of in the middle ground of my team. Unnamed thing is doing well with his shots. He's gotten two good aerial plays. Nice finish. And I see a lot of comments about how like people are like, oh, you know, people wouldn't position like that at this rank. It's like that's the whole point of this series, though. Is that I'm showing how you could position wider and be in a good position and hopefully rank up. I I feel like the whole point is people are playing too fast for their own rank. So I don't really like that that comment. I think that like I get it. I know that like I'm thinking further ahead than most players, but that's what I'm trying to show is that you can think further ahead and just play patiently. Like, I don't feel like I'm doing anything that crazy mechanically. I'm just like waiting for the ball in spots. I see this guy challenging, like probably a platinum play would probably just try to challenge that as last man. But as you can see, I'm playing patiently and just thinking about what's happening next. I don't think that's like unreasonable. And if it is, let me know. I mean, you want me to just like play like a platinum player at that point? Like, what's the point of the series? I'm not really teaching anything. I'm just kind of playing like a plat player. Like, I'm just going to barrel at it. Here we go. I'm backing off. I'm, I'm going. I mean, that's actually probably not what a platinum player would do. I, th I think that's like a little too aggressive. Okay. The whole point is I'm trying to show like good, stable gameplay, consistent gameplay. I'm not making like overly complicated mistakes. Just showing what you can do. You can like, there's nobody defending backboard. So even though my teammate missed, like, it was a good opportunity. And now I can back off by my teammate. You know, I find a lot of opportunities off the backboard at the lower ranks. I was talking about this in the 2v2 games. Um, because oh, that's a really good turn for my teammate. Um, in diamond, I feel like it's more, uh, more obvious that the opponents are uh, defending the backboard. Whereas in these games, players are not really there and they are getting upset at each other. I think that was an awkward play for my teammate. He kind of like made like a really last second touch. Honestly, my teammates are popping off. Look at their, look at their scores. My teammate can go for this. They're both playing really well. Team Art's awkward. He's just ro rotating back all the way, but he's using all of his boost. It looks like. Is he boosting? What is that guy's car doing? That guy was straight up boosting and drifting. <laughs> what the heck? I'm gonna sit behind this ball, see what he does. Decent challenge. That guy was boosting and drifting around, I think. I'm gonna go for this. Good challenge. So definitely from the placement matches, we're definitely seeing players are going for this, like more aerials, more passes. This is my last man here. Oh my goodness. Gonna wait net here, see what happens. I'll try to go up for this, might be them. Nice. Waiting on my teammate, see what he wants to do. He's kind of waiting in mid, which is perfectly fine. I'm just gonna wait to see what they do. Get space for the ball now. Try and challenge in the corner. Decent save. Now I'm gonna loop out for my teammate. It looks like um, King might want to move in. I, I got a position on this ball, so I'm just gonna turn on it. I'm gonna back off. I'm probably probably confusing King. It looks like he wants to get in on the play. I do beat this guy, but it's a little scary. It looks like he backed off. That last touch there was a throwaway, but I do did beat two players. So overall, I think my teammates like completely carried me. I didn't really do too much. They played really well. I didn't overcrowd them. I just kind of kept my positioning and just be that reliable third teammate. Didn't make too many touches. Just uh. Just existed. Not bad. So that was an entirely plat two lobby except for one player on the other team. I mean, division up. Y'all are way too good. I don't know how I got you as teammates. I feel like that's, <laughs> that's a backhanded comment. I don't think he's saying that positively. Every season I have comments of people that are like saying that I I am like just smurfing and beating everybody. But I, I think that I've had a pretty decent balance of wins and losses this season just by playing like a consistent game, trying to play at the rank. And I also don't, I, I've contemplated once again, stopping the series because of the comments. And I, I don't know if like people think it's ethically wrong what, of what I'm doing. I'm trying to just be like helpful for people. So I, I don't know if I should continue. 
So every every season, I people make, people make me feel bad for for doing this, and even though a lot of people request it, I probably could just not do it. Like I don't really need to do it. It's more so just like people requesting me doing it. So I don't know. We got a two v two game though. We got Tegel Blanc and Pylon with PV. I'm gonna go all the way back here. So we got a two v two game. So a little bit higher ranked again, but it's it's honestly like doesn't feel that different to me between like mid plat to high diamond at least gameplay wise. Okay, it's so like PV. I need PV to like start rotating back so I can get in the way. People are definitely positioning a little better though. Just trying to read it. I have the ball here. Looks like he wants it, so I'm just gonna let him take it. Good, dri good dribbles. Ooh, okay, okay. Ooh, okay, good save. I might get demoed here. Yeah, I had a feeling. And, and when you have a player who who like challenges and gets behind you like that, just be very careful of how you approach the next ball because they might be. Uh, they might be watching it. Now this was open. Let's see what he does here. So maybe panics. It's a good touch. Get behind my teammate. Doesn't want to go. Okay, he's gonna go on this though. I'm a little scared. Okay, it's off target, so I know I have space here. Let this ball bounce. See if he wants to challenge me. Good bump. Oh, he's going for it. Oh my goodness, I like that. Well, I don't, but I I, I appreciate it. This is a little high, but I'm gonna try and challenge this. The better play would have been to pop that forward because of the positioning of the opponents. But it works out. There's a high ball here. I see that he's kind of backing off, so I'm just going to wait for it and flick it high. This guy is pretty jumpy. I'll pop it. Oh, I went towards target. We should be able to save it, though. I'm going to try and pop that off the backboard because there's nobody there. But I didn't pop it exactly the way that I wanted to. Hits it forward. Maybe to my teammate. Oh. A bad touch from the opponent, so now we should be able to make some sort of play off this. Hit off the backboard. I think I'm about to do a high aerial. Seems like people are aerialing pretty well. It's a pretty aggressive challenge for my teammate. I might not be able to get back to this unless... Okay, we did get back to it. We had to rush very, very fast, though. So once again, pretty aggressive challenge for my teammate. He's very pre-jumpy. He doesn't. I think I missed off the backboard, but good recovery from uh, Pylon to follow that. Okay, bad touch from the opponents. Okay. Hit this off the backboard. Might be awkward. Good 50. A little scary for me to go for. My teammate, hopefully, to get a touch. And the second I see this ball rolling, I'm going to like go wide here and then stay with the ball once it goes around the corner. You see, I didn't need to panic. didn't need to go up close to the ball. Like, yes, it's it, it could be dangerous, but there's so much time with the ball rolling like that that I could just wait. Good demo. Pop off the backboard and see if they miss. It's a good save. Just testing the defense. Not a good ball for me to go for. This is the kind of thing I'm talking about where it's just soft off the backboard. I do want to cut this, though, so that way it's a little difficult for them to turn all right I should not left that boost because you might get it whoa whoa stay in front of this go past him real quick Let's see what they do with this as well off the D off the uh, the back end good save from pylon again this is an awkward bounce I'm already trying to read where the bounce is gonna go I knew it was gonna be high whoa hello like, I already know that he's it's going to be an awkward bounce. I'm trying to, like, read the bounces in my head, f like, ahead of time. This guy's going to beat me, so I'm going to be a little bit careful. Okay, I, that's probably too advanced. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I probably sh that was a good play from them. I probably should let that go in. It's a good pass. Yeah, that's a good play. That first, that first play right there probably should have been a goal anyway. I definitely shouldn't have had the double block. I kind of boosted ahead of it. But you can see that it's kind of a thing mechanically you can do in the future. Uh, it's sort of like play those positions where even though you make a first 50, you can uh, go for the follow-up touch by kind of hovering in front of the ball. Let's see if PV can get a touch here. That's a good pop. Waiting for Pylon. See what he does with this. He does hit it. See what they do with this. It's decent follow-up. Oh, good miss. I don't know why I said good miss. Doesn't make any sense. Oh. Nice. Kind of got lucky with the pinch there. We just tried to 50 that in the corner when he was super awkward. He didn't really get a good, uh, good catch here. Trying to backflip it, and we pinched it across. And Blanc was not ready for that. It's kind of hard to assume, but he was a little bit too close post. I probably wouldn't play like that in that position. Oh, this is awkward. So it's going to be clear on the field. It doesn't look like he has full control. Even if he tries to follow this ball in the corner, he wasted a lot of boost. And now I have a place in the ball. And like he is still very low here. I'm trying to try and bump this guy. That's a great play from them. A good follow-up after the flick to just go for the bump. I think my teammate could have been a little bit more ready, and obviously I threw the ball away right here. But it looks like, yeah, he was hesitant to go up for that. 
definitely a position to be there is a little bit closer in mid because there's nothing that can really go wrong in that position if like it's bouncing off the wall or something. So we both on there. Gonna panic. See my teammate can get in there. He's rotating very, very wide, but hopefully he can get in there. Nice. Maybe one more. Get in there. Get there. Oh, he's so wide. I guess he assumed he was gonna clear, but that's like such a low percentage play. Like he probably could have uh, just been on that ball and maybe scored. It was a good, good attempt at the end there. They made some good plays. I definitely could have been faster in that game, but I felt like at the rank we're at um, and with the way that my teammate was playing, I was probably going to have to push a little too hard to be better in that game than what I might be at this rank. So either way, good game. We got one more to go because I know you guys want to do want me to do four in a game or in a video. So let's see what we get. So only one 3v3 game in this episode. Uh, we got Todua or Todoa. Todoa? I don't know. Oh, I guess it's to do A because of the way that he's capitalized it. I don't know. Uh, let's go for this boost. We can beat this guy. And it's going to roll into mid here. I'm going to go for a shot and see what happens. Um, those positions, like, you should definitely be ready a little bit on the back post just in case a fast shot comes out. You can see how um, how open the net is if you completely stand still. Like, even though the guy got the back corner boost in that position, he is going to have to use way too much boost and basically accelerate from zero. Probably use about 40 to 50 boosts. Guys, one for the bump. Oh, good save. That's a good bump. Nice. My teammate kind of abandoned the play after I got uh, got that save. I know that he was trying to leave it for me, and I definitely could have not popped this away from myself, but I was trying to avoid the bump, and then this guy ended up getting under my car. That was a good play from them. Probably should have just been in anyway. I probably also could have went a little bit faster to avoid that, that ball being a shot. Let's go for a 50. It also seems because we're close to uh, champ one that we're... Um, we are getting like champ one players in the lobbies. I go for this early. Try to get a win here. And I'm just gonna like go close to this ball and let them panic in the corner. And I have a free ball. So I can just turn on this really fast. Hit this to the corner maybe. I definitely could hit that towards my teammate. I just wasn't sure where he was rotating. These plays off the corner is gonna give them a free challenge. But as you can see, he didn't hit the ball that well. Hit off the corner a little bit. So those positions where we hit off the corner, I see my teammate didn't go. It's probably smart that he just waits. A little bit scary. Big whiff, though. Might be just open. There we go. So that, we have to capitalize on those mistakes at this point. I would say at high diamond, if you're positioning for a good opportunity for a shot, you should be able to finish those off. If you can, obviously, just hit the training packs and like go for open shots, because that's not a difficult shot at diamond, I don't think. Okay. I'm waiting to see what my teammate does. Okay. Once again, they have the ball, so I'm just going to wait. The back end. Ooh. Okay. Once again, see, I didn't, I didn't actually just move forward there because I don't assume he's going to make a good like good clear. Obviously, the higher rank you get, um, the more that's going to become, like, you're going to have assumptions on what the opponents are doing and what the teammates are doing because they're faster. This guy should probably panic and make the, ball, the hit the ball across. But it's an awkward bounce, so immediately I just move backwards and see my teammate can cut it off. Makes a decent touch, but it's going to give an opportunity for the opponent to bump me, so just trying to read the opponent on what they're doing. Move forward on this ball here. I see him like being very aggressive. He's like in their net. So uh, I don't have a teammate to pass to if he's going to do that. Now I'm just going to get back here. See those off the wall. He does miss. And I have space on the wall here. Kind of a missed touch, but it'll be all right. Good 50 for my teammate. I would say he's positioning way too hopeful. You can see where he's positioning. Like he's like thinking I'm going to go for this. Like it's way too close in their corner. And then he's using way too much boost. You can see he's way too, using way too much boost, and now he's, I think he's like zero, the way he's moving. So he used a lot of boost just to move forward and backwards and basically did nothing with the ball or positioning. Go for a, a block here. Now, I don't really have a boost here, so I'm just going to try and chip this around. And once again, he's super aggressive, like basically very hopeful that something's going to happen. A decent touch, but I can't really follow that. I'm going to get demoed. Look, I miss. So I'm just going to hit this softly. Now I'm going to pass this to my teammate. Oh, I bumped him. I thought he was going to actually just shoot that. I kind of like <laughs> drove across the middle. It's a decent touch, but they're going to probably still have it. A little panicky in the corners from both players. Okay, I'm just going to wait. I don't need to do anything here. He's got to make a touch of some sort. Great chip. I've got 100. See how I'm positioning very differently? I'm positioning like wider. But I need to be ready for the next ball that spills out to, to me. It's a decent touch. I'll follow this, but... I it's a little scary because my team is going to be in the corner and they could challenge that. And they're going to have this ball for free here first. Kind of throws away in the corner, but 
See what they do with this. They're going to have this first, but not a great touch. If they want to chip that, they need to chip it away from the wall because my teammate is looming, just like sitting there. I'm going to take this boost on the corner here and this one, or in the mid, sorry. And that way they have to kind of back off. A decent challenge. Good bump. I like the call from my teammate. All right, it's an opportunity. I see my teammate up though, so and I see all this player kind of hovering. He kind of gets the read. Get this off the curve. Not the best touch because they do get free possession. He went to make an aerial this. It's good. It's safe to the corner. Second touch was wasn't super necessary. He could have controlled it a little bit, but he did he did make make do with pretty awkward ball. That might just be in. Yeah, I, I, I flicked that a little bit too high. I, I wanted it to be like a uh I wanted that to be a little bit lower so they could get back to it. But I popped it really high over this player and this guy almost makes a really good save. But just getting a good flick. That was a high flick. Sometimes like in this game, you don't intend for things to be as powerful. And it just kind of surprises you. Even the most consistent players in this game, um, they still like don't have consistent flicks. It's just so hard to tell with the physics of this game. Like where I like the patience here. Not the greatest second touch, but still like okay. Uh, result here. He should be able to get this mid. He kind of does a weird half flip, but I think he's trying to go for the ball early. Good try. So the attempts are there for the ceiling shots. I gotta try to bump, avoid the bump here too. You can see people are attempting ceiling shots, attempting flip resets and stuff like that. But they're just not very consistent and not very scary. Like players aren't really like that good enough to like make me respect that they're going to hit it. So I'm kind of just waiting for an open play. And I think we did do too much that game because we're at 845. I, I didn't feel like we did. I felt like we were playing around my teammate pretty well. The only reason I feel like we didn't have that much pressure is because my teammate was very, very aggressive. Just very up the field whenever I had the ball. Uh, the opponent did not have a rank. So I wonder if he's a new account or, or what. Because to be not ranked and also be at placements within Diamond is pretty high. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. This is definitely an interesting one. I think I'll, I explained a lot about just like positions and de deciding when to go and why. When to go? Wait a minute. Anyway, until next time, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.